because it is my guilt, I claim you grievous miracle. You gotta clap, 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 clap. clap. them alien cheeks. Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Me realizing that I misplaced my bracelet. Here we go. Ta-da. Yay. <laughs> Past that, though. Good morning. It is another fine day. It is a Friday, and that's a good thing. Thumbs up for that. The sun continues to shine. The world continues to spin. Yes, it is a globe. But I'm not going to get into that at the moment. I, I have a topics list of sorts in that I have a topics list. Not that I haven't really done anything to it. Because I've been spending this morning just trying to wake up. Not... I have allergy issues. Which of course makes this really fun right now. Because when you have allergies, I just found out fairly recently it causes shortness of breath. And the other day I had severe shortness of breath while I was recording one of my videos and I felt terrible and weird, disassociated from my body. So thumbs up for that. But I have a whole bunch of allergy issues and I saw this list that said, you know, compare your symptoms. There was the Kofefe bug symptoms and then common flu symptoms and then allergy symptoms. And pretty much everything I'm feeling is on the allergies list because it says allergies, yes, yes, common, yes, common. And those things that are all that I'm feeling are not a part of normal flu or the Kofefe bug. So thumbs up for that. I, I mean, I don't feel wonderful, but right now it's, you know, my lungs are clear. The only thing that I have is drip because my sinuses are going nuts because of all the pollen and such like that out there. So, yay. But past that, you know, life is life. <clears throat> I have been watching videos. I like watching the videos that Kurzgesagt makes. And one of the videos they did was on the Kofefe bug and why it is so bad for you. And Hokey Smokes, I had, trying to make sure my chair is, is centered by me, I had heard that it can do 20 to 30 percent permanent damage to your lungs and i wondered why how you know what was going on with all that found out in the kurzgesagt video what this particular bug does is it also hijacks your immune system and infects those cells as well so when it gets into your body and infects your, your lungs, it starts doing weird bad things to them. You know, they turn into, into bug factories, then they blow up, and then all those bugs that they brood go out and infect other cells, and then that keeps happening. When the immune system cells show up to start taking care of that, they get infected. The problem is, and this is why it's so bad, these are cells that can just touch another cell and tell it, okay, you need to die, and then they will. But the problem is, being already infected, the immune system cells stop just hitting the bad cells, and they start killing everything. All your lung cells. So you've got two major types of your own immune system going through and wiping out your own healthy lung tissue while killing, of course, infected stuff as well. But it's just going mad and taking out your own system. So by the time that your body is just depleted from fighting off the rest of this, it can't fight off itself is it starts, it starts, continues just wiping out your lung tissue. So you can lose up to 30% of your lungs vital capacity and it doesn't come back. Thoroughly destroyed. This is going to make some major changes for, well, decades to come. All these young people that are getting it, 
they're not going to be healthy in the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Talk about taxing an immune, se an immune system, a social health care system, if we even have one at that time. So thumbs up, we'll see what happens. But it's pretty frightening, so yay. And of course, I went walkies last night. I'm getting more and more worried about doing that. The thing is, though, as long as you avoid people when you go out walking, you're okay. Yes, this is a bug that will last, excuse me, in the air on particulates for hours. But with wind currents, everything's being moved and smacked against stuff, so... Yeah, your odds of breathing in something odd, awful are there. Small, but it's better than being like in a big box store where somebody coughs or sneezes and the droplets hang in the air for people to walk through. So thumbs up on that. So yeah, Walmart is still super, super busy. I don't go into Walmart anymore. I don't even like going into Safeway. But again, I have so little food and so little money for food, I can't stock up. I don't have anything to stock up on. So periodically, I have to go. Like last night, I went to Wal not Walmart. I walked to Walmart and back, yes, but I stopped at the Safeway and I bought some stuff to last me for as long as it can before I have to venture out again. Primarily, I... We're seeing people that when they see me coming, they cross the street so that they don't have to do anything. There are a few times I had to walk by people. Like twice, I think. And yeah, I felt pretty paranoid. I felt pretty paranoid. All you can do is be as safe as you can. Use every precaution while I was out Boy, I had some itchy spots on my face, but I didn't touch my face. <laughs> and when I got in, I, I'm i just glad I bought two bottles of isopropyl alcohol like two months ago. So I have a full bottle and then like this much of another bottle and I just scoured my hands with that stuff. Oddly enough, 70% isopropyl alcohol is better at disinfecting than 90% isopropyl alcohol. I found that out by, I can't remember what the video was about. They were talking about that sort of thing. I think it was the difference between regular alcohol and uh, isopropyl alcohol and methanol. Yeah, it was a chubby emu video. But it was, oh God, I, I got too sidetracked. I have some of that and so I just wash my hands with that but the 70% works better because alcohol actually works better in water. Water makes alcohol work better as a disinfectant and so with 70% isopropyl alcohol you have enough water that the diluted alcohol functions better because of the water. So 90% actually doesn't disinfect as well as 70% isopropyl alcohol. So thumbs up on that. And as a quick inside, I'm glad that I got this kind of wrong. I got an isopropyl alcohol mixed up with methanol, which is the wood alcohol. You can drink isopropyl alcohol and not hopefully die. It's not a guarantee. You will not necessarily go blind. You won't necessarily have convulsions. <clears throat> Largely, your body will fall into a coma until it deals with all of the various particulates. Not particulates, but it breaks stuff down. And as soon as it breaks it down enough, then you wake back up. Because isopropyl alcohol is really bad for you. <laughs> and you can die from that. But it's methanol, the wood alcohol. That's the stuff that attacks the vision centers of the brain and does more and you can, can make you convulse and die. So thumbs up for that.
I had always worried about this one fellow on YouTube, Shoe Nice 22 I think his name was or is. I don't know if he still makes videos, but he was a fellow that like eight years ago when I watched, he would eat and drink just everything. You know, open up a thing of deodorant and then eat the, de the deodorant. Someone would send him a, a, like a fifth of Jack Daniels or something and he'd just pop the top and he'd guzzle the whole bottle right there. The one thing that terrified me was when he did, yeah, he took a bottle of isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and drank that on camera. And he said it didn't really hurt him. He slept for like over 24 hours, but when he woke up, he was fine. Well, yeah, he slept for 24 hours because it shuts your brain down while it gets rid of all the toxins. Oh, thumbs up for that. <laughs> All my hamsters are still doing fine. Little Gojira was awake a little bit ago, but she is sleeping now. She's just a little sleeping tennis ball down in her home, and that's good. And little little Dust Mop, he's doing fine. Of course, Saber last night before I went to bed, little Saber slash Cream because of her coloring, running around in her little home there. This morning earlier, little Doctor Snurf slash cookie that's right i almost forgotten his name i wonder why he was running around and drinking and yesterday little figmo down inside there he was at least still alive then i'm not gonna bother him in case he's still alive but if i don't see him running around then tonight i'm gonna check and see if he's still with us or if he's just a cold hard little ball He's a good guy. I've taken as good a care as I could for him. And he's been loved and he's happy and, he, well, as happy as he can get as a rodent. So definitely a thumbs up. It's just sad that they, they burn so fast. They're like, if our lives are those thick candles that you can get that burn for a long, long time, they're just little birthday candles that go pew. And then they're gone and it hurts so when he's gone I'm gonna cry when the rest of my little fuzzies go I'm gonna cry and when Amelia finally passes because she was born in like 2003 ish when she finally goes 2002 2003 I'm gonna be really sad <sighs> but life is life you know, everything has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So thumbs up for that. Oh, in comments, Russian Timing had mentioned something about, I, I was, I've been playing the game Blasphemous for, as a Let's Play, and the game Blasphemous takes place, in case you don't like watching game Let's Plays and stuff like that, takes place on a world where a divine miracle occurred, where everything that people felt, every burden on their soul suddenly manifested in flesh and so every there was already a very religious world i mean we've had times of deep religion on our planet and that puts it to shame but on this world this deeply religious world there was this divine miracle that they even admit those of them that are still there this happened they will not ever understand they cannot understand what happened because everything that people felt every guilt every bit of retribution every anger every pleasure just manifested as either curses or blessings corruption or divinity and so the world is just destroyed in that fashion and the main character is trying to put things back together? Who knows? He's a penitent. A strong person of this world. Deeply ingrained. And the sword that he's got has got a thorn in it. And it's drawing blood as you use it. And later, you know, it bears your guilt. And the thing is all started the with your character in place 
not the event, but your character coming back and doing all these things when this one woman at the beginning is just begging for her guilt to be assuaged, slamming this figure against herself and saying, make my chest hurt, I claim this guilt, it is mine. And then the figurine that she's slamming against her chest pierces her as a sword and her body draining blood just lays there and becomes like a statue and later on someone comes and pulls the sword from that statue and then in a pile of corpses your character awakens and i said to russian timing you know this is a world where it it, it Literally, it's like it could have just wandered into a zone where one of the Angakira is got his attention focused, and so the walls of reality have melted. All those things can creep in, and, well, it's not reacting all that well to it. Thumbs up. And hey, I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now, I'm just thanking you for having left one good, bad, or indifferent. If I missed you, mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended, I'm an American English speaker. And if I get lost, which I would likely do considering the way my memory has been doing, I do my best, even though I count in American Sign Language, so please, my apologies. Oh, I had to take a caffeine tablet this morning and wash it down with a lot of caffeine. So I've got about 300 and, no, 250 milligrams of caffeine running through my system right now. Thumbs up on that. It's going to make me sleepy. Because of my untreated ADHD, caffeine actually makes my brain work properly, which boosts my levels of serotonin and dopamine, which means I can actually sleep. And so I tend to fall asleep in my chair after I take caffeine. Thumbs up for that. Well, let me call up my chrome. And we have Colin Rise now. Thank you very, very much. And we're going to talk on online one day, I promise you. Quality content every day. Indeed. Ali Shabiri, thumbs up. Denial, greatly appreciated. Alex MJ Broken 64, thumbs up and thank you much. Idiot, oh, that's a terrible name, but thank you very much. Kathy Kiskat, good to see you. Gavin, thumbs up and thank you. Brittany Perez, greatly appreciated. Confused Owl, 29, thumbs up and thank you. Accelerator, thumbs up. Laser Boy, as L4Z3R Boy, greatly appreciated. Russian Timing, thumbs up and thank you. Michael S, thumbs up. Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. Adrian Bryan, thumbs up. The Swift Hurricane, oh boy. My apologies. Apologies, my sympathies. Raymond Haley, greatly appreciated. Spicy Meme King, thumbs up and thank you. We have Tyler, greatly appreciated. The One Solumnus, thumbs up and thank you. Tekken is good, 678, sure is. K Rents Official, thumbs up and thank you. And Thomas Barlow, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Barry Cool, and yes indeed, a mini horse head. Thumbs up and thank you. Each and every one of you, <coughs> you get me out of my head. This one, into the world, dealing with real people, it is greatly appreciated, definitely a good thing. Thumbs up to no end. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you wanted to help support me but didn't want to send money to one of those two, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you wanted to help support me but didn't want to send money at all, I also have an Amazon wish list link down below with things like cat food, hamster food, hamster bedding, silly things, not silly things. If you get to check it out, that would be very cool. Now, do not, I got my hand gestures all wrong. Let's see, go here. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, I don't know what gesture I'm going for. 
If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool, very awesome. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Definitely a thumbs up. And back over here, oh, my kitty is walking around my feet. I accidentally kicked her around and then stepped on her and crushed her skull. No. Well, I have this video. I have another video that I need to edit and render. I have another one that I'd like to record and then edit and render, but we'll see what happens. Definitely a thumbs up. So you stay safe. Stay self-isolating. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Stay social distancing. Be safe. Be cautious. Don't be anxious. Don't be paranoid. Be safe. There's a difference. But be good, and I will see you, my friend.